women don't have the same rights as men. No, you're right. You don't. You don't have equal rights. You have fucking better rights. You have more rights, especially when it comes to the family court. Let me give you guys a breakdown on how the, how the system works in England. There's a man called Daniel. He works in a normal job, factory job, comes home one day and his wife, Susanna or girlfriend, either or, has decided to leave him for another man. So he comes home to find his house empty, his children gone and a letter on the table. Don't contact me, I've left you for another man. It's over. Now Daniel, Daniel's fucking confused. He's upset and of course, he's emotional. Now pay attention because here's the tricky bit. Susanna has decided that she's gonna keep the kids because she's been planning this fucking breakup for a very long time. So how does she, how does she keep the kids? She applies for an emergency residential order. Susanna also decides that Daniel's not gonna see the kids anymore. He's banned from seeing the kids. Notice what I said there? She's decided. Now, how has she decided to do this? Well, she's applied for a non-molestation order. And whilst that non-molestation order is in process, they grant the non-molestation order on a temporary basis. <laughs> yeah, because that's fair. But this gets even fucking better. Um, how does she how does she obtain a non-molestation order? Well, she claims domestic violence, of course. Those that are new to the legal system, the family court system, that have never been through this fucking process, I can understand your naivety. Well, how the fuck can she get granted a non-molestation order on the basis of domestic violence if there's no proof of domestic violence? Well, you don't need it, you see. You don't. You can say that you're a victim of domestic violence with no photograph of any bruise when Daniel hasn't got a conviction, a caution, He's never been arrested for domestic violence against women or children in his life. She can claim emotional distress. She can claim mental health. She can claim mental abuse, domestic violence that way. So let's talk again about fucking women's rights because Susanna has decided that she's going to fucking break up with Daniel. Susanna has decided that she's going to keep the kids and Susanna has decided that Daniel's no longer going to see the kids. And she's also decided on how she's going to do this. Now, again, those that are naive, those that have never been through this fucking process could say, yeah, but if Susanna doesn't work, how could she afford to put Daniel through this? Well, that's the fucking point. Domestic violence. Once you claim domestic violence in the family court, you get your legal costs for free. And you don't need no proof. You don't need no evidence of this. Daniel, however, who's never been convicted, never been cautioned, never been arrested for domestic violence against women or children, can only defend this by paying somebody to defend him. Now, that's just the first step. If Daniel wants to see his children, Daniel's now got to pay somebody to apply for contact for his children. Contact. Now, you see, this bit's brilliant because when you apply for contact with your children, the judge then seeks advice and help from a group of people called Kafkas. Now, Kafkas are a heartless bunch of cunts, a useless bunch of cunts, a bunch of cunts that think they know more about parenting than you or me. And many of them haven't even got any kids. So for example, this person, let's call her Kathy, that works for Kafkas, doesn't have any children. She's going to interview you. She's going to interview Susanna and she's going to recommend to the judge on whether you should have supervised visits with your children or whether you should have unsupervised visits with your children. And she's gonna make that judgment, make that recommendation on about 30 minutes of meeting you. So basically, she's just gonna fucking judge you. God help you if you've got any fucking previous convictions, let's say nothing related to fucking women or children. Let's say fraud, let's say fucking, I don't know, assault, let's say theft fucking 10, 20 years ago, you're fucked. Let's say you fight for a living, you're a professional boxer, you're a UFC fighter, you're fucked. Daniel's a bodybuilder, you're fucked. Well, let's say 
Daniel is a professional soldier. Well, according to Kathy, who works for Kafkas, he now suffers with PTSD. He ain't stable. You're fucked. Let's say Daniel is a police officer. You think that won't be used against you? You're fucked. So the court decide to allow Daniel to have contact with his children, but on supervised terms only, supervised visits. What does that mean for the people that have never been through the fucking family court process? Well, it means Daniel gets to see his children for an hour in a room with a fucking stranger because he can't be trusted. He can't be fucking trusted. Susanna was the one that fucking stole the kids. How the fuck can women say they don't have fucking better rights than men? You're right. You don't have equal rights. You have better fucking rights. It's a fucking... Fuck off. It's a fucking joke. Fuck off. Daniel can't be trusted. You stole the fucking kids. Daniel can't be trusted. And if that ain't enough, if that ain't enough, Susanna decides she wants most of fucking Daniel's income. Now, Daniel has a basic job. Daniel works in a fucking factory, for example. Daniel now has to pay child maintenance, now has to pay whatever the court tell him to pay, even though he's not allowed to see his children. Daniel has been providing for his children since the day they were fucking born. Now he's had his children taken off him through no fault of his own because his slag of a fucking ex-girlfriend has decided to fuck off with somebody else. And now he's got to pay for his children that he's not allowed to see. And um, before many of you jump on the bandwagon, yeah, but Aaron, remember that this money is for the children. Yeah. Susanna's lips are now filled with fucking filler. She's got a new pair of tits. That ain't coming out of tax credits. But you've also got to remember the family court system is designed to protect children. It's designed to help both parents. It's designed to earn fucking money. <laughs> it's Daniel that has to pay the court fees. It's Daniel that has to pay his legal fees. And guess what? When Susanna decides to get the CSA involved, which is the government basically telling Daniel how much he needs to give Susanna for his children, they also take a cut of that. That's a business. <laughs> fucking billions. Google this shit. See how many fucking people, how many fathers take their own fucking life because they feel degraded. They feel shit. They feel fucking useless. They've had their children taken away from them. They're now having their income pretty much fucking halved. They can't afford to live. They can't afford to fucking provide. Many fathers have even had to sell their house and give everything that they have to try and fight for contact for their fucking kids. Yet that fucking slag can fill her lips with filler, get a new pair of tits, see who she fucking wants, rub it in the fucking father's eyes all over fucking social media. Bear in mind, Daniel's not allowed to share one fucking photo of him and his fucking children on his social media because that'll be breaking the non-molestation order. And if you break a non-molestation order, do you know what the consequences are? Well, it's quite simple and it's also quite fucking severe. Prison. If Daniel doesn't pay what the CSA tell him to pay, do you know what the consequences are? Prison. Don't talk to me about equal fucking rights. You're right. You don't have fucking equal rights. You have fucking more rights. Fuck off. Fucking equal rights. <sighs> Fuck off.